Hi there guys and welcome again back to Once Upon a Time in Blackpool. We are on episode 12 now and it is Christmas time. But as you can see on screen we've jumped back in with not a lot of Christmas cheer in the air because uh, Ryan Edwards, one of our backup more now centre half options is developing some concerns about his playing time we had a chat with him which i thought would be you know able to solve it i just said prochenko was playing really well and it resulted in him handing in a transfer request so consequently now i am going to start offering him out on loan just before we get to the portsmouth game which will be goal rushing in a moment so uh, i mean we'll offer him out for what he's worth um it will hopefully allow us to bring in a bit more money we do have options though we did bring in frederick nielsen earlier in the season um as another um option here someone we can develop for a longer period of time and as you can see here we've got some green arrows going on so there is some improvement as he trains with the first team and he's still only 20 so that is good so we haven't got to worry too much but as you can see as well we're january around the corner and when you're top of the league you will garner some interest for your players curtis till is being followed by Millwall of the Championship and FC Met to the second division in France. Um, he's under contract though however to 2020. We've still got another couple of years left so at the moment we're not going to panic. Um, and then obviously Nick Anders, uh, Nick Anderton, sorry. Um, Bolton Wanderers would like him but um, they haven't got a lot of money so I don't know what's going to happen there. Peterborough, our rivals, would like Oliver Turton. I don't think that's going to happen either because they're our rivals. So, uh, and yeah, Brendan O'Brien, one of our young homegrown options. Sheffield Wednesday are interested. He's on a youth contract as you can see. Um, we have offered him a new one actually yeah and he hasn't accepted it yet um so hopefully in a minute he will it's only for 300 pounds a week but as you can see here the first team exposure training with the lads it is seeing some improvement across the board so we don't know maybe we could turn this guy into that potential ability we'll have to wait and see but yeah very exciting time with literally january around the corner it is christmas day the 25th of december happy christmas everyone it's actually august and it's like 30 degrees outside the hottest day of the year but Merry Christmas. The haunting nature of takeovers all of a sudden has come back. And, like, I mean, we can have takeover attempts at any time in the season, apart from this time, because it's Wednesday the 26th of December. We're four days away from the transfer window, and apparently there is going to be a transfer embargo. Oh, dear. Right guys, it's a couple of days later and we're still under a transfer embargo, which is slightly worrying because last time this happened, the takeover bid failed within like 48 hours and there was nothing to worry about. Hopefully this is not going to be like a month long saga as we might have an issue. As you can see well, as well, in other bad news, we did lose at home to Portsmouth um, in the game in between um, the Ipswich one. We did make one or two little changes like Devitt came in um, to have a go. We'll watch the goal here, as you can see from the stats. One of those games where we dominated, played some really nice football, but just couldn't take our chances, um, to be completely frank. So, um, yeah, and they didn't really have any chances at all. The one they had, they took, and there should be a great finish. You'll see it here now when we get to the replay. And they were trying to pass the ball around here, couldn't find a way through, had to play it long, and it should be in. Good finish. And that was all she wrote. And then we spent the rest of the game just literally trying to pepper them down, but unfortunately couldn't get the job done. So yeah, that was that. So next up, Ipswich away. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a tough game now. Bear in mind they're seventh and we've just come off that loss. Um, but luckily, when you go back to the lead table quickly, we're still doing so well. You compare us to everyone else. Sorry, excuse me a minute. So we literally go to the position here. Yeah, we've won 16. We still won two more games to over our nearest rivals, Accrington Stanley. So we're still six points clear. So all in all, our fifth loss of the season, but not terrible. Let's hope we can immediately turn things back around. Oh yeah, we're completely screwed. Um, I, it's the 1st of January, um, so I just tried to approach to sign a player um, from abroad. And as you can see, the Blackpool board are not willing to sign players while the club is in the process of a takeover. Oh no, this is not good. Especially when I've got players departing and I don't look like I can bring anyone in now to replace them. Oh dear, we better get to the, um, to the, uh, to the Ipswich game. Right, so let's take you through the teams today. Ipswich Town are 4 2 1 3 DMY. Biakowski, Cotter, Chambers, and Sala and Garbutt are the back four. And then we've also got Scoose and Hughes and Nolan in the middle as a little triangle. Edwards, Judge, and Jackson up front. For us today, a few slight changes. We've got one of these periods now where it's something like three or four games in seven or eight days. Annex in goal. Nottingham comes in at right back to give Tartan a rest. Um, Prochenko, Tilt, 
Anderson comes in to give um, Boller a rest who has got a knock. And then we've got Kai Kai coming back on the right. Kane and Virtue as the midfield today spearing also giving a little rest. Thompson comes in on the left normally super sub. So as you can see quite a few more changes than what we would have liked. Kaputsko and Alfonso um, finish out the team rounded out. Go to the dressing room here. Coming off the back of the Portsmouth uh, defeat. The only thing which is slightly worrying is how we seem to be not scoring as much now. We seem to be still dominating games but dropping points. Um, this is a great opportunity to show the pundits and the right to back up. I think that's the right one for this time because it's which are viewed as a favourite. We end the team talk and get a kick off here. Right, now this is a game where I really want to see us push on. If we lose this one now, all of a sudden in one episode, things are starting to look incredibly shaky for us despite us being top of the league. Because not only will we have lost um, two in a row for the first time all season, we'd also have a transfer embargo to contend with. Um, and it is, of course, a new year right now. Anyway, we come forward here against Ipswich. We've got a lot of players back here. Kai Kai trying to find the space virtue maybe it's boshed around in the area no there could have been a penalty shout in there i thought but anyway scoose now comes away with it for ipswich and plays the ball forward jackson on the outside good block left from prochenko does well at that he's good at getting those headers and those blocks and he's got the physicality which we're looking for free kick now to hughes of ipswich luckily off the wall anderton stands up well prochenko now can counter can he come forward he's not got much pace but hey yes lay off to anderton counter attack dies out thompson with a corner now delfonso makes the header there at the back post goes wide but still decent start both teams looking like they can do some damage here to each other we've had more of the possession judge now with a little layoff free kick to garbert who can shoot from long range he's one of their danger men at ipswich judge now again back on the flank but kai kai mugs him off so well we're good there now can we counter kai kai and hughes oh they had a little bit of a war there on the side i wondered if there was going to be a booking looks like we're going to have a little battle between those two in this game jackson now though works his way inside and it calls it really well stays in the middle and makes a strong save little jinking run there he's got the chaos in him like Adelfonso good tackle from tilt last man saloon had to get his foot on that you get it wrong it's a penalty and a booking if not a red not sure nowadays last chance isn't it so you get a yellow but it used to be a red anyway 20 minutes gone here at Portman Road Ipswich nil Blackpool nil the Ipswich town manager Paul Lambert has been saying a lot in the press about us this week trying to put the pressure on here he needs a win he's got a bit of pressure on him because I think they're only sixth Kaputska now in the corner Biakoski does well you notice with Kaputska's corners they generally go to the far post a lot more anyone else takes and they generally stop at the near um, we have talked about doing some work on that and we will try and get to that in a minute Anyway, we hold the ball up here now. Still have a lot of possession here for away from home, which is encouraging. It means we're keeping the game nice and tight. Kaputska now comes forward and finds Delfonso. Oh, dear. Straight at the goalkeeper. Either side, and we're taking the lead here. Anyway, here come Ipswich now. It's end to end. So, Garbert Alnick has to come back and tip it over the crossbar as it was going in the top right. Right, two men on the post here for the corner. Judge in. We managed to get the clearance away from Chambers here as Hughes plays it back to Garbert. Ipswich Town probably looking slightly more dangerous when they get forward here, but Blackpool still looking like they can offer something as well. Judge plays it in now. Ca Jackson on the outside looking for some space. He can't get it. Herbie Kane now. Come forward. And we've got three on three. Three on two. Oh, he can't find it to Alfonso. Cotter predicted it so well. Uh-oh. Prochenko's done something here. Oh, it's a yellow, luckily. Prochenko got very tight to his man there. I think he saw the danger that the counter-attack was going to launch. And that should take us through to half time. It's Ipswich nil, Blackpool nil. More of the stats on shots for Ipswich, much more clinical than us. We've had more possession and more build in the game. So really nil nil is probably where we're at right now in all fairness. Um, assertively, I'm going to kick off again. You know, we're at that point now where we're doing better as a team. Do I want to take Prochenko off? I don't yet. Um, I need you to watch your step play, mate. We'll end the team talk. I also need you to score me a bloody free kick. Start the second half here now anyway at Portman Road. Ipswich nil, Blackpool nil. If we can win this, we'll keep ourselves about six points clear. Jackson's in. I don't know how that didn't go in. That is a way teams are very good at getting in at us. Straight from the kickoff, they play a ball over the top and it normally catches us a bit dry. Anyway, Edwards now to judge. Deflects off Prochenko. Goes for a corner. Lucky didn't nestle in the corner, actually. Anik was still trying to go for it, though. Judge now with the corner in and Prochenko heads it clear. Just to Hughes. Hughes up to judge again. Kai Kai comes across. He's done well here coming back on the right-hand side and tracking back and making challenges. I don't know what his tackling stat is, but obviously being a striker right winger, I do not expect it to be that good. But he's doing a good 
good job here today, doing his end of the bargain. If players can overperform their stats, you're looking good. Jackson's in. He's mugged the keeper. Oh, my word. That is what you call a complete faff at the back. Anik has absolutely dropped us in it there. Scoose now picked the ball up here as we go to the 3D. Cotter with a good ball forward. Cotter's been the man for them. Oh, Jackson, just a little touch past Anik. I mean, I don't know how actually Anik didn't clatter the both of them and it wasn't a penalty, to be frank. But anyway, right, hour gone. We're going to have to do something here, make a change. Delfonso perhaps coming off. Not been sharp the last couple of games. Right, Hardy on. Um, he's, I think, not even scored a goal all season. This is why we need this transfer window. We need this transfer embargo. Anyway, to be lifted. We confirm that. We'll make the one change here on the hour. Hardy's coming on for Delfonso here. Ipswich 1, Blackpool nil. Can we still steal something? Kai Kai on the right. Plays it across. Thompson on the left now. Plays it a virtue. Great block from Hughes. He had to dive across there and stop it. Otherwise, it would have been one all. Corner now to Blackpool. Kaputska in near post this time. Just after I was saying about his back post antics. Here comes Thompson now into the penalty area. Back to tilt low. We've got him penned back here, Ipswich. Every player apart from Jackson was behind the ball. We still couldn't do it though let's give them a little shout here demand some more from them i don't want to change from balance because i don't think it's going to get us more hughes now the free kick kane makes the block and it's a corner to ipswich town 20 minutes to go here judge plays it across it misses everyone and jackson manages to keep it in up the top kaputska with a good clearing ball there but we lose the highlight nottingham now on the right to kaputska virtue can he hit it from distance he can but oh my word Biakovsky there had to jump backwards and tip it over the crossbar. A lot of long-range efforts in this game. Cotter there with a clearing header now. A lot of players standing up and being counted today just at the right time. Some really good quality football going on in this match. Flynn Dowles is on here for John Nolan. A bit of fresh legs in the middle for Ipswich. Tom Thorpe also has come on a few minutes ago as well. Right, 15 minutes approximately, including the time to go. Prochenko off. Oh, no, I'm going to have to keep him off the free kicks. Keep him off the free kicks. Hope he doesn't get a red card. Right. Anderson will stay on. Uh, virtue off for Casey Palmer. Casey Palmer, come on and be the man, my friend. Right, we play here. About 10 minutes to go. Casey Palmer on. He can play the box to box and he can also play the long shots. It was a goal kick to us there, but now Ipswich can come back. Thompson doing well on the left to win the ball back low. Kane up to Kai Kai. Bit of space to run into now. Plays it in. Kaputska now. Thompson. Can he strike? He does. Biakovsky makes a good save again. Biakovsky here is being the one man saving machine for Ipswich Town. Corner now to Blackpool as a pressure mounts. Palmer can pick it up surely. Just about. Chambers keeps it in though and clears it. All Blackpool here at the end. We're building. Judge with a clearing header. Ipswich looked to pick us off on the counter now. Good ball to Jackson. Jackson's in. Anik with a good save to make a corner here. Oh, end-to-end -end stuff now. <laughs> Could be a draw. Could be 1-0. Could be 2-0. This game is still wide open with seven minutes left. Judge now wins another corner for Ipswich. Ipswich building here. We need to shout at them some more here. Corner's going to come in now. Judge plays it in. Chambers at the back post and Anik makes a good tip over the crossbar. Mm, both goalkeepers having good games here to keep the score lines relatively low. Judge plays it back in now. We cut away from the highlight, but it missed the far post. Right, two minutes to go, plus added time. Hughes now down to Thorpe. Thorpe plays it up to Downs. It's getting a bit tense now. I'm getting a bit warm. Cotter plays it in. Jackson there. Is that going to be in? Yeah, it is. It's 2-0. Caden Jackson. We said there was another goal coming, and here it comes. It's Ipswich 2, Blackpool 0. It's going to be the first time all season we lose back-to-back -back League 1 fixtures. And that's not bad, Ben, when we're, what, 25 games into the campaign? Jackson with the header into the top corner. Caught out. If we've taken our chances, and that seems to be the problem at the moment, we're not taking our chances. So if we could take our chances, we'd still be in this game. We'd possibly even be winning it. The last 30 seconds here now, not enough time to do anything. We're still going to knock the ball around though and try and play with a bit of passion. Thompson now comes into Kane. Can we get a consolation here? Kaputska plays the ball into Hardy. It would be nice for Hardy to get a goal, but he can't. Ipswich laying bodies on the line in this game. That has been the difference, and that's all it needs. Nottingham now will take the throw in for Blackpool. Comes down to Kai Kai, up to Nottingham again, plays it back, and it's all over. Ipswich Town have won here at Portman Road. A big win for them in their season. A lot of pressure off Paul Lambert. We head to the dressing room. Time for another assertive telling off. Uh, we're not getting as much reaction as we used to, but we'll end the team talk here, and we'll move on. We've now got um, in three days, yeah, Coventry. And obviously we're losing some players there, and the transfer window is open. So hopefully this transfer embargo might be lifted. No news yet. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Just notice on screen before we pick the team for the Coventry game, um, 
Mark Robinson has been sacked by Coventry, so it will be taking on a caretaker manager. And there is a football karma as such, where sometimes that normally results in a bounce back result. Um, I'm now slightly concerned we might lose three on a bounce in this game. This might be the most dire episode of the Blackpool save so far. Ryan, here we go from the Rico Arena Coventry. Can we avoid having three defeats in a row? Let's take you through the teams. Coventry are 4 2 3 1 wide. Marusi, Darbo, McFadson, Pask, and Brown. Shipley and Allen, Huwula, Chair. What a name. Is that Ivor Chair? Elias Chair. What a name. Kassanir and Bakayoko up top. For us, slight rotation. We have got Barnsley coming up in the FA Cup after this. I think about four or five days away. So I have rested Prochenko. Edwards comes in. Turton, Anik. Tilton, Anderson comes in at left back for Bola, who's also rested. Devitt comes in for resting as well of um, Kaputska in a bit of a shift around. We've also got Spearing, Virtue, Kent, Palmer and Alfonso. Hopefully that team will be enough to go out there and get the three points. Obviously, it's not great having Prochenko, but um, we really want to, like I say, focus on the FA Cup as well um i fully expect you to end our poor run there was no reaction right that's not good we'll give them a little bit of an encouragement we seem to have lost a bit of that mental state we had before back to back defeats will do that to you and we are ready for kickoff now right can we go out there and can we do the win that <laughs> can we do the win i've had such a long day guys you have no idea i do apologize Anyway, five minutes in and there's nil-nil early doors here. Mostly Coventry coming forward now. Shipley with a free kick, but now Delfonso can come forward. Look at the way we spread down the pitch here trying to find options. We've hit the ball up and we swoop like an absolute swarm of uh, locusts almost, I would say. Right, chair now, passing the ball back to Darbo, up to Allen. Chair now, Coventry's light blue kit here, lots of passing around. Huwuda now coming forward, up to Allen. Allen into chair, playing some nice football here, Coventry. Looks like the managerial change might have made a difference now, but we managed to pick it off here and try and counter. Tilt now, playing it forward, Virtue coming forward, Kane supporting. Up to Devitt, can Devitt find the ball? He can, and Virtue has scored his second goal of the season here. 13 minutes gone, Matt Virtue... <laughs> Placed um, Herbie Kane, who was also rested, obviously, with the FA Cup just around the corner. Look at the dink ball there up to Devitt. Lovely bit of skill. Devitt takes it down, picks out the pass. Virtue decides, I know I've got the goal in my sight, just going to hit it. Gets there ahead of Huula, and that's all it needs. Coventry nil, Blackpool 1. Whoa, Coventry playing quite wide there. Played out to McFadden, who looks to play out from the back. Oh, he's played through Bakayoko there with a the one-on-one -on -one ball, and Alnick makes a good save there. Um, that is where we seem to get caught, those over-the-top balls there. Alan, oh, good, Allen with the corner in now. Luckily, we stop it early. Hiwula and Allen trying to link up again. Goes out for a Coventry throwing now. The home crowd getting behind their side. My word, interesting. One shot each on target. So very, very tight. I'll say Coventry have actually played very much like we do in some ways. They've really passed the ball around quite nicely here. And um, we've been looking to counter here at their place and try and get the ball off them. Kent's in now. Good save for Morosi. Probably not enough power on the strike. Anyway, we test him out there, keep him on his toes. Allen comes inside now for Coventry. Good block there from Tilt. Needed to be done. And we lose the ball. They lose the ball again. Right, getting towards the half hour here, it is 1-0 Blackpool. It's pretty much an even game overall, though, saying that. Coventry now slightly edging it here. We're going to sneak forward towards half-time. Hopefully, we can hold on here. Um, obviously, with the rotation as well, I'd just like to get three points in the bag any way possible and move forward. Um, especially to try and keep you know that little gap at the top. of Oh, Shipley goes close with a free kick. Especially trying to maintain that gap at the top of the league. We were, what was it, six to nine points clear at some point. I think now it's three after the last two games and we're on a bit of a dodge run. Half-time whistle goes here. Blackpool nil. Uh, sorry, Coventry nil, Blackpool one. Right, we start the second half here now. Uh, just easy team talk. Kent's come off because of the booking, so Thompson comes on. Super sub on the left-hand side to try and get us another goal here. We get the second half underway. And can we turn this around or will we have our first episode where we're literally going to have three defeats in a row? Coventry are looking slightly overwhelmed, which could be helpful. Looking like the pressure of the situation is getting to them. They're obviously down towards the bottom of the league. That mentality can build on you after quite a while. And if you compare it to us in the games where we just about managed to squeak through, that positive mentality has no doubt got us a few more points this season. Right, long ball by Coventry now. We managed to pick it up and hold it around the back. No real rush here. Devitt with a good header there to keep possession. Plays it into Thompson 
We cross it to Delfonso, and that is how we do it. Nathan Delfonso, 11th goal of season. Jordan Thompson, the super sub with the assist. We head to 3D. Devitt with a very important header there. He had to win that in order to find Thompson. It was a great bit of play. Thompson with a very intelligent ball across into the box. Keepers completely flat-footed, and rightly so. It is Coventry nil, Blackpool 2. Rightly so. Looks like we're heading on here. Oh, corner load of Coventry. Oh, straight away, perhaps Westbrook with the strike, and luckily is offside. 20 minutes to go. Right. Time for another change here with 15 to go. I think we need to. Right. I want to try and rest some players who might play in the next game. So, um, Delfonso up for Hardy. I'm going to leave Devitt on because he won't be playing. I'm going to take Spearing off because he probably will for Brendan O'Brien, our young midfielder. So, yeah, we're going a bit. Yeah, we're getting a bit thin in our squad now. Um, like I said, it's not ideal not having this transfer window. But um, <laughs> hopefully we'll get back in a minute and we'll be able to have it. Oh, Virtue, what a goal! I was there chatting about the transfer window and Virtue just absolutely smashed the net to get his third of the game. Coventry absolutely stunned here at the Rico. We've turned this completely around. It is absolutely wonderful. Devitt has been superb today. Darbo with a clearing header. Virtue doesn't need two chances. Hits it straight with power, straight into the corner. Coventry nil, Blackpool three. Do you want to concede with the tactical changes? Absolutely. We're still going to push forward here. Final ten now, and it's going to be comfortable. Don't need to do any shouting at them here. Just going to let the time go here. Four minutes of added time at the Rico. As you can see from the stats, we've turned it around the second half. I did give them a little bit of a uh, slightly constructive team talk at half time. Let's say at least not that we caught it. Four minutes here, the added time at overpass now, trying to win the header. Hardy to come and counter. Surely that'll be the last action of the game here. Chairs back defending. Virtue was superb, as the commentary says. Coventry nil, Blackpool free. Matthew Virtue, take a bow, mate. Well done today. I'm going to say I'm very pleased with the result and performance because that was a massive step up in what we were before. Matthew Virtue, well done, mate. Second half was much better, as you can see here. End the team talk. The second half was brilliant. We'll continue now, and we're getting ready for Barnsley. Yep, top of the league. Three-point gap still. Okay, yep, so not not as bad as what it was looking. Still six points there. Sorry, five points down to Bristol Rovers in third. So not too bad. Anyway, we're going to quickly leave you there because we're going to come back in literally a few days, and we're going to have Barnsley coming up in the FA Cup. It's an away tie against them. They're in a different league to us in the Sky Bet Championship. And as you can see here, they are bottom of the Sky Bet Championship with 15 points from 26 games. So, really, are we the favourites? We're at home. They're bottom of the league. They're one place above us, technically, in the pyramid. We'll find out how we get on. And if we can get through, can we get to that third round and can we get a big boy in the tie? Anyway, now, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.